Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be looking at the Holy Grail layout. So let's get to it. Okay, so what you see on your screen right now is what is commonly referred to as the Holy Grail layout. Now it's made up of a header at the very top, then a footer at the very bottom, and then a main content area that takes up the rest of the space. That main content area is made up of some kind of left hand bar, which I've just called navigation here. Then a main section where the main content for this page would go. And then potentially an aside here on the right where you may have links to relevant information or just related uh, pieces of information that pertain to this main section. Okay, so this is quite a common layout that you will see out there. Now I'm going to show you how you can build this using CSS Grid. So let's get started. So first thing I'm gonna write out HTML for this. And I'm gonna do it by typing the following. I'm gonna have a div with an ID of holy grail container. All right, and this will be the main white div that's around the outside here that will contain all these sections inside of it. I'm then gonna have my header. So I'm gonna use a header just like so. And for now, I'm just gonna type the word header, okay? Then I'm going to have my footer at the very bottom. We'll just type that in now. So I go footer and type footer. Cool. Now in the past, in other layout or other layout mechanisms, you would have to have some kind of a div that encapsulates all three of these columns. But we don't need that anymore because we're using CSS grid. So I'm going to have an element for the navigation here, an element for the main section, and a main element for the aside. So it'll just look like this. Nav, navigation. Next one is, let's say a section, which let's say H1 and say main section. Cool. And then finally on the right, we've got that aside. So I'm gonna use an aside to do that. And that is pretty much the HTML, okay? Now, if I come over to what we have at the moment, it's currently empty, and if I save it, well, it doesn't look that great at the moment, all right? You can see that we've got no presentation whatsoever. So let's go over and fix that up with a snippet. So under here, I'm gonna type LDGCAE Holy Grail Styles and tap. And all this gives us is a H1 that's a little bit bigger with a font weight of normal. We've got our Holy Grail container here, which will be white. And it'll be 100% high. And it has a min width of 400 pixels and a min height of 270, okay? And that's just so when we go smaller, it doesn't get all squashed up. And then for each of the sections, I'm just adding some padding around it, some border, and I'm aligning all the text to the center, which you can see here, okay? So there's the black border, there's the padding right here around everything, and so on and so forth, right? So if I now save what we've got here, well, we've got our Holy Grail container now taking up the full height of the screen for the most part, but our items are still behaving like block level elements at the moment. And that's because our Holy Grail is a block level element. So let's fix that, right? Let's make it a grid. Now, before I do that though, I just want to mention I'm going to show you two ways to build this Holy Grail layout. First way is just the really easy way that you may think to do straight away when you're doing it. And then the other way will be to make it responsive, all right? So basically, let's get started. So I'm going to come over to my Holy Grail layout and I'm just going to set the display of this to grid. And by doing that, we know what's going to happen. We're going to get evenly sized rows, okay? But this is not what we want. We want to have at least three columns, right? One, two, and three. So let's do that. Well, not three evenly sized, sorry, three columns. So I'm gonna make the column width of this one here 162 pixels wide, and same for this one over here, and then this middle column to just take up the rest of the space. So I can do that by going grid template columns, and there's my 162 pixels, one FR, and 162 pixels. 
Now, if I come to what we've got at the moment and save, well, everything's kind of not what we want, it, right? We've still got the header starting in the top left, then we've got the nav, then we've got our main section, the side, and the footer, all right? Now, how can we fix these problems? Well, it's pretty easy. All we need to do is we need to target our header and our footer, like so, and say that we want the grid column to span three, and save. And now we've got, basically, from a horizontal perspective, everything we want, all right? The header, and the footer are really, really large in terms of their height, but in terms of the column spanning and the width of the columns here, everything seems to be pretty good, all right? So now we just need to deal with the height of things. Well, we can solve that by just going grid template rows. And here, I'm gonna set the header and the footer to be both 92 pixels, and then 1FR for the one in the middle. Just like that. And if I save this, now we almost get exactly what's there, okay? In fact, I think here it's not 92 pixels. I think it might be, in fact, 72 pixels, my bad. So this should be 72 pixels, and this should be 72 pixels. And if I come over and check again, now it should be equal height, and it is. Cool. Now, the last thing I just noticed here is the text is not quite lined up in the header and the footer. Uh, we can see it needs to be vertically aligned to the center. So let's fix that. And I'm gonna do that by just going display, grid on the header and footer, and then just go align items, center, and save. And now you can see that the text for header and footer are working appropriately. And we've got the same behavior as we do on the final tab. Now that's the first option of doing this. That's the non-responsive way of doing this. Now, if I was thinking about a responsive design, I'd obviously wanna go with grid areas here instead of using just grid template columns and grid template rows. Now, the widths and heights that we have here at the moment, I still want to honor those, but I wanna make sure that maybe in the future, I, if I change the width of the window, that we can move stuff around. So to do that, we need to take advantage of basically grid template areas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually comment out this for the moment, just like so, and go back to what we've got here, which is that. In fact, we'll go even one step further back, we'll actually get rid of that as well. And in fact, we'll get rid of everything here. All right, so we'll just comment all that out, and we're back to basically five even rows, all right? Because we still have that display of grid on the Holy Grail container. And if you were to take that away, whoops, like so, and save, we'd be back to that block level behavior at the start. I'm gonna put that back, and now I'm going to define my areas. So I'm gonna use the grid property to achieve this, and then I'm gonna go, I want three columns. So I'm gonna have the first row be all headers and make that 72 pixels because that's the height of the first row here. Then for the next line, I'm gonna use, let's say nav, main, and a side, like so. And that's gonna be 1FR to represent the middle row being 1FR down here. And then finally, I'm going to use footer, footer, footer to span three columns here and give that 72 pixels, all right? And then I'm gonna define my three columns of 162, 1FR, and 162, just like that, all right? Now, we know if we save this right now, it's not gonna really do what we want, all right? Things aren't positioned where they're supposed to be, but once again, we have the height and widths of each of those rows and columns working appropriately. So now it's just all about placement. Well, we can fix that too by coming down and now saying 
we're going to define a grid area for each of these. So if I go header, I'm going to have a grid area of, say, header, all right? And as soon as I save this, now we can see the header is spanning that top row, okay? And I can do this for the rest of them. So one, two, three, four. We'll go footer and set that to footer. And then for the nav here, we gave that nav. For the, uh, let's go the section. No, not the section, sorry. Uh, in fact, yes, it is the section, my bad, I think it is. Yep, it's the section. And I've given that a grid area name of just main. So we'll call that main. And then finally, for the aside, I'm pretty sure I just called that aside. Let's just double check that. I did. So hopefully now, if we save this, well, everything seems to be placed the way it should be. But once again, we just need to fix that vertical alignment. And that's pretty straightforward. I had it commented out. And I just add that back and save. And now, we've got the same result again. Cool. But this time, we've done it using grid template areas. And now we have that responsive behavior. So we can change this easier when we want to change the width of our window. So that's all I want to show in this video. So I'll see you all in the next one.